Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with a quick update on my no buy challenge. February is done guys. We're already into the month of March. This is my third month into my no buy challenge and I thought I'd check in with you and let you know how the month of February went. So let's get into the video. So if you don't know, I'm doing a no buy challenge this year. So if you haven't checked out that video where I share my rules and everything, definitely check that out. For the year 2020, I'm on a no buy challenge and I figured I'd check in with you as we're already through the second month of the year. So I had to plan purchases in February that were part of my rules. I was picking up my Cartier ring and I was also picking up a gift for myself for Valentine's Day. And I shared those with you guys on my channel. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. So I was a little nervous with those purchases just for a couple of reasons. I did not want to get distracted. I was really, really laser, laser focused in January. I was so happy with how I did in January. Like I said, I was really a little frustrated because I had to purchase some essential items in the month of January, but I was really laser focused. I was not at all worried about not being able to stick to my no buy. February was a little different for me because I was putting myself out there and doing a little browsing. I went to Soho in the beginning of the month, which you guys saw, which I was successful and I did not shop, but I was out there browsing and things were tempting to um, pick up. I'm into fashion as a fashion um, blogger and content creator. I definitely need to stay within the times and know what's going on because that's part of, you know, what I like to share with you guys. So I went to Soho, I was browsing around, but I did good. I did not pick up anything. Um, and then I did my two planned purchases where I went to Cartier and I picked up my ring. I picked up my Cartier Justin Clue ring, which I love guys. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this uh, ring, definitely check it out. And then I also shared a recent pickup for myself for Valentine's Day, which was a really fun purchase. And I want to share a couple of things with you guys. So interesting enough when i picked up my cartier ring i you know didn't think twice about it during the purchase i picked it up i came home i unboxed it for you guys i was super excited to share it and i immediately later that evening started to feel so guilty and i shared that on my insta story so if you guys aren't following me on instagram definitely check me out there but i felt extremely guilty i was definitely experiencing buyer's remorse and i was thinking like did I need to make this purchase? Was it necessary? Like it's a lot of money to spend on a one item at one time. So I was kind of having these thoughts, which is so brand new to me. Usually I'm like spending my money, like, you know, no worries at all. And in this instance, I felt really like, did, was this necessary? And um, in reflecting when I was sharing this on my Insta, Insta stories, you know, I said, it's definitely proof to me that I am working on changing my behavior. I wanted to change some of my shopping and spending habits and I want to, I wanted to make more significant purchases and be more, you know, just not buy random things. And I don't feel like I'm a real, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm an impulse shopper at all. Like all the things I buy, I really research before I purchase them and I look into them and I also figure out the best way to get the, to get the items. Like my Valentine's Day gift to myself, I bought it during a promotion. I got it with a gift for purchase. I purchased it online using my Ebates or Rakuten now, um, you know, app. So I was able to get cash back on the purchase. So I was really, I'm really mindful of that when I am shopping. So I don't really feel like I impulse shop a lot, but I do want to improve my spending and shopping habits. That's the purpose of my 2020 no buy challenge. With that said, I felt really bad when I purchased my Cartier ring. And you know, I had to really push those feelings aside because this was a planned purchase. I really wanted this for a long time. It wasn't something that I did without planning or saving or preparing for. So there was really no reason for me to feel as guilty as I was feeling, but I think I just want to contribute that to the fact that I am changing behavior and I'm having success with it and I'm learning to be more mindful about my spending. So that was awkward for me though. I was like, why? Like, this doesn't feel good. I didn't like that at all. But then the next week I was ordering my Valentine's Day um, 
gift to myself which was my Marc Jacobs pillow bag if you haven't seen that video uh, reveal definitely check it out because it's a good one but when I purchased that bag I didn't feel any um I didn't even feel any kind of way about it I didn't feel guilty about the purchase I was really excited about the purchase I you know went into store to actually pick it up which allowed me allowed me the opportunity to browse in store at Neiman Marcus and I saw some lovely lovely things but I was simply there to just pick up my item um, so I am proud of myself because unlike January I was out and about in February and I was shopping and I was browsing and I was allotted the purchase for Valentine's Day where I felt like I was reasonable with the purchase and so I'm good with that two things happened unexpectedly in February that I was really kind of annoyed that I spent money on still within my rules I didn't really you know go outside the rules but I needed to replace something from my home that broke and I couldn't last an entire year without it so I had to repurchase that and um it was actually my trash can for my kitchen I it just the the lint wouldn't open up anymore it was I don't get it it was just like why why I didn't want to buy a new trash can I I don't know if you guys know but those trash cans especially if you're looking for those stainless steel stainless steel ones with the lids that come up and down they can be quite pricey so I was really annoyed by that but it was like something for my home that is an essential item obviously you're not buying trash cans frequently I had mines for a few years so it was just it just broke and I needed a new one and what I did to replace it was I used my um, right around February 15th was time for my Ebates Rakuten check to be sent out and I actually opted to get a Bed Bath & Beyond gift card which I think gave me like six or eight percent more than what my ref refund rebate was initially going to be so I had more money to spend that way so I opted for the gift card and I used the money towards the trash can I had some money left over on the gift card which I have I didn't spend and that was also something that I was proud of like I went to the store I purchased what I needed to purchase but just because I had a gift card with more money on it I didn't keep shopping for anything else so um, I'll have that money if something else comes up and I need to buy something else for my home. So I thought that was really, really, um, again, showing kind of the growth because I'm a person that if I have a gift card, I don't know how people lose gift cards and like let gift cards expire or what. Like if I have a gift card, I use the gift card like as soon as I get it, like within the week of a gift card coming into my hands, it's gone. Probably within a few days like or one day gift cards to me are the best thing I love getting gift cards but as soon as I get it I spend it I don't hang on to gift cards and I don't know why people do that like I, I never understood it but I did hold on to the balance on my Bed Bath & Beyond gift card so that's another changed behavior for me so other than that guys in February it was pretty good I will say it's another successful month I'm a little nervous however moving into March because I'm wondering is it going to be hard for me to pull back and get back on track with no planned purchases in March. Um, there's nothing coming up in March um, at all so I have no reason to shop and March seems just like a long dreadful boring month like is it me or is like March just seeming like why? I don't know. I'm not March is ugh. we'll see. But I, I'm a little nervous about getting back on track and um, like I said, February was really exciting because I had these planned purchases coming up and I knew that going into the month. March is just nothing. It's just nothing happening. So we shall see. I'm definitely feeling more and more confident though as we go along the year about the no buy. And truthfully, I am on a no buy challenge, but I am also being realistic with myself. I had a talk with a friend in February about this, and she said to me, uh, Zara, I think a whole year is a little extreme considering, you know, what you do. <laughs> like you are a content creator and you um, share things with your audience. So having an entire year of not shopping for anything is a little 
extreme and I kind of got you know her perspective and what she means by it she was also encouraging obviously but she was just being like you know you have to be mindful of what you do like your lifestyle and so you know I think I'm making a lot of I'm, I think I'm making a lot of good changes and seeing, still being true to myself. I do anticipate at some point in the year I may have buy something. And I think if I buy something and get back on track, you know, that's what matters. So I'm not trying to give myself permission to cheat here. I'm still on this no buy challenge. I just, I'm a little nervous about March. So wish me luck, guys. And definitely check me out on Instagram so you can get more up-to-date information about what I'm doing, what I'm up to, what I'm looking at, what I'm not buying. <laughs> so, all right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I talk about fashion, lifestyle, and sometimes travel, and I would love for you to join my online community. Definitely hit that bell button so you never miss an upload for me. Also, any questions or comments, as always, let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, guys.